What's good, YouTube? Today we have another market watch, and so much is happening. So much is going on. I know CapG just covered a lot, but even more is going on than that. Always shout outs to CapG, though. Some of these will be from uh, over on his, and I'm going to give my own thoughts on them. But the first is Shiba Warrior Taro, and quickly spiking. Uh, lowest is a light plate at 14, and then 20 for near mints, and on eBay is 30. So, what's going on with this? Well, we found out a really, really cool combo. And here it is, Zodiac Hype, Special Terror Top, Grab Red Eye Dice, Synchro for Goyo Defender, and Triple It, so Goyo Defender grabs more of itself. Overlay two of the Goyos, Summon Invoker, Special Summon Mulmorat, Summon Tiger King using the two extra rat, its effect sets Tensu from the deck. Activate Tensu, Normal Summon this card, and Synchro for Naturia Beast using your other Goyo Defender. So this is Goyo Defender, uh... Here's its picture if you don't know what it is. And we're going to talk about its price right now too because always grab the rest of the pieces of your combo, boys. But uh, one tuner plus one or more non-tuner monsters once per turn. If a, all monsters you control are Earth Warrior, uh, Synchro Monsters, minimum one, you can special summon Goyo Defender from your extra deck. When this card... So you basically you summon another, summon another uh, right away because you'll still only have Earth Warriors when you make them. When this card is targeted for an attack, you can make it gain a uh, thousand... Attack for each Earth Warrior type Synchro Monster you control until the end of the turn. So, uh, that effect's irrelevant. You're comboing off with this guy. And right now, uh, Los on eBay is $1.32 with a minute, but it's a pretty low quantity for an Earth, uh, guy. And Infernoids can play this too. We've seen Infernoid decks that play it, but, uh, right now you can get them super, super cheap on TCG Player. Uh, it might be something good to hold on to considering the other piece of the combo has spiked. So much. It's a collectible card, though. Taro's always been a wanted card. Only out of the anniversary pack. Never reprinted. And uh, just a very, very cute doge. So, uh, it's understandable why these pieces uh, have gone up. The Shiba Warrior Taro's. Uh, it, that's a pretty powerful combo that's very splashable. But you gotta hard draw Taro or have it in your hand. Although, uh, he is a Beast Warrior. Uh, I don't know if Tenki is level 4 or level 4 or lower. Let's actually... Look that up real quick. I should have done my research before on Tenki, but I just thought of that right now. This could be a combo piece for it. One level four or lower, so it's actually searchable in your uh, combo pieces with Terror Top. So Terror Top plus Tenki equals that combo. That's pretty darn cool. So this actually has more utility than I might have thought. Uh, MX Saber Invoker, $52 lowest. Uh, we had seen it all the way down to 45 and it's starting to rebound back up. As Zodiac nears, but uh, still a low of 48, um, 48 on the lowest buy it now is over here. So uh, what does this mean? Uh, it's getting time. It's It hasn't been hit on any ban list. Zodiac hasn't been limited anyway. Terror Top hasn't been limited anyway. And we're about to see our first big event here in Seattle in February. It's highly likely. Tons of people anticipated a January ban list edition. It didn't come. And now people are anticipating a March ban list, and they're trying to hold off buying this. If you're not going to Seattle, if you're not going to some regionals, you're you're trying to hold off from this card and like, not yet, not yet. And it's naturally going to go up because the people that are competing are buying these. It's a very, very natural buyout. Speaking of natural buyouts, remember uh, Secret Formula had gone up uh, because of me. I had pointed out, hey, this card is pretty cheap, $7 for the highest rarity version. A lot of people are finding out that they can go get the Advent Calendar Ultras for cheap right now too, but every single version is now spiking very hard naturally due to DDDs being the deck out. Uh, it's already a collectible card slash a card that's been cool in past formats like plant format and other formats, but now it is playable again past its collectability because of DDDs. And uh, everybody who's uh, busting open three strikes decks needs this card so of course all the uh they're naturally going up not forced uh this one was so this one was hey guys go get this and then you guys went way past my expectations i expected you to buy out the ones to tens and they went to 17s and are still kind of up there uh lowest near mint uh, over here is 20 dollars, but uh i just expected you guys to get the ones up to 10 dollars and get a deal shame on you guys whoever did that but uh every single version going up naturally now i was just able to see that coming and we see uh actually some people wanting to get rid of theirs fast a 550 and then so, uh, the lowest is seven after 550 so uh remember every single version was four dollars when i highlighted this last and said ddds need this well here's the natural progression of things and it just works that way the competitive scene really dictates uh cards when they 
collide with collectability. It's it's just natural. Uh, and so Dolka, this is from Cap G. Uh, it's gone up a very high amount, and I'm going to suggest you not get yours right now. I would not get them yet. Uh, I know two dollars may seem cheap, and it's like, oh, I should get mine now. This deck is um, eight, eight, nine months away. About uh, it's very, very, very far off. So. I would highly consider not getting them yet. I would wait for it to dip back down because the announcement's been made, but the hype is here and it's going to do this and then do this, in my opinion. The reason I suggested getting Saber Source and Caboozle now is that Aquamodors with $15 secret while it's being used. It was a dollar investment. These are getting higher and $2 may not seem much higher, but these are all light played. So let's go find the cheapest mint one on TCG Player. Um... Light play, light play, moderate, light, light, near mint, $3. That's just high for Dolka, and you might not even be playing Dolka. What you can do with Caboozles when you, like, rabbit them out, uh, you can overlay for Bahamut and make Toad or Lagia. Dolka just seems kind of behind, even though uh, the idea of a 2800 Dolka seems pretty nice. And uh, we see over here that uh, there are near mint options for 250 then 3 very quick. So this is a huge increase, and the uh, hollowed out version, of course, uh, very, very high. Let's look up the first at uh, Photon Shockwave Near Mints. Uh, the lowest Near Mint, $11. And I, I just can't justify that right now. Uh, first Photon Shockwave. Let's see here too. And $8 over here. So that's more justifiable. I would say I could see 5 to 8 uh, for now. But it's so far off, guys. The hype's going to do this because the announcement hype is here. It's going to do this, and then if it becomes real, or as it comes back, it's going to do that. So, uh, just my prediction. Uh, the, the only pieces I would have picked up now are the uh, Secret Rare Caboozles and Secret Rare uh, Saber Source, or the Dual Sleek versions of those cards. I know Caboozles has Dual Sleek. I don't know about Saber. Here's a card. If you want to have some fun and play in your fun decks, now is the time to buy it. Uh, it's $4.00. Uh, Ties of the Brethren, an amazing card. You can play it in Bujins, Volcanics, that Barrier Statue Turbo I'm going to show off. I'm going to release that deck list tomorrow after I do Casual Friday today. But definitely, uh, there are some very, very cool, fun budget decks that you could play competitively at locals and regionals using this card. You could top a regional with the Ties deck. And uh, it's at its lowest point, realistically, of $4. It's from that structure deck that costs 30 to crack total for the entire structure deck to crack them open and not have a complete sealed structure four dollars is a really good price for this card and as you see it's already uh higher than that on ebay but uh if you're paying under five i would go ahead and get your set now either a to have it or b for your fun decks because i might do some tabletop with this i might play billy with some odd off fun bujin uh ties deck or that barrier statue ties deck but it's definitely the time to get your set if you haven't already. Remember, this card was $9 during Magic Spectre format. Uh, well, I say Magic Spectre. Metal Foe, Magic Spectre, Blue Eyes format. Uh, the, the set before this one. But it's definitely the cheapest I think it can get. It's $4, guys, out of something you have to pay $30 to crack. The retailers have to pay, what, $18? You want to get this now. If You trade for it. Don't buy these out. Uh, trade for them, do whatever, uh, just have them. Uh, it's a good investment in terms of fun, not for money. Uh, so if you're a rogue player, there you go, guys. Dimensional Barrier. People are making jokes that it swapped places on price with Pot, but Pot's still about up here. And uh, we see uh, 70 lowest now. Uh, I've been urging people when it was 45. This is the lowest it's going to get. It's needed in this format. This is the ultimate stun card. It's very, very good. And we see a low of uh, 64, 65, and then it jumps to 69, and then 70 very fast. So only a place at under 70, and one's just a dollar off. So uh, we have uh, the rest are Japanese, etc. Wow, I did not expect it to be this quick. I expected this to happen the first week of that format, or the weekend right before. This is actually just insane. This is really crazy i expected it to hit here but not this fast uh the market is just going that way so uh dimensional barrier very very good to have yours already uh if you've been listening to me you went ahead and got it instead of waiting to see how the format would shape because this card no matter what happened with the format this was the card to have and another shout out to cap g here actually i've been told about it and i was waiting 
I was waiting to talk about because I wanted to see it simmer down. And we see the lows to six. Somebody wants to sell theirs right now because the rest are 15 plus. $15 card, Oracle of Zephra. Uh, and then we have uh, $15 over here as well on eBay, the very lowest 15. So somebody wants to either didn't get the memo or wants at Super Games. So they probably got the memo. They just want to sell theirs now and make their money off of this card. Uh, but it's. It's interesting. If you want to check out more about that, go to Cap G's Market Watch. I very much promote other people doing Market Watches. Really glad to have them doing these and keeping up. But, of course, we've always got our reasons to come on over here. So, <laughs> Doge going on up. Uh, but that combo is really cool. Again, I told you the entire combo at the beginning of this video. Go ahead and pick up the, your other piece of the combo while it's 20 cents for sure. Because that combo is actually really cool. I did not know that the utility was that great that you could hard draw or have 10 key. That's so cool. I, I can't believe I thought of that on the fly too. Like, wait a minute. Is that under four? Yes. Your card knowledge is good. Uh, formula, all versions up. I'm glad if you got yours when I told you to at fours. Dolka on up, I wouldn't get it yet. And Ties, get it now if you want a casual deck. Man, you all, the, the market's crazy right now, guys. It's competitive season. It's going to be a ride until Nationals. Thanks for watching, guys.